Hello everyone, this is the homemade version of the Montessori spindle box. And this box is made out of cardboard and duct tape. The Montessori spindle boxes usually range from $40 to $60. I was able to make this one for less than $5. The purpose of the Montessori spindle box is to teach children about number quantity and number recognition. So let's go ahead and show you how easily I made this cardboard spindle box. So I had some baby food boxes, I had two of them, that I united with some duct tape. As you can see, two boxes were united here with some duct tape. Then I went ahead and I created dividers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And the way that I created these dividers, I cut out some cardboard pieces and then I placed them here and I held them in place with duct tape. Then I placed number cards, laminated number cards, right there on the back with some tape. And as you can see, I have numbers 0 through 9. In the Montessori philosophy, 0 is introduced right from the start. So help children understand that 0 is also a number. And the purpose of this box is to teach children about number quantity and number recognition. So I'm going to go ahead and show you some activities that you can do with this neat box. So the first thing that I started off doing with my child was I have these number cards and this is just to teach the concept of number recognition for the child to be able to recognize the number six. So the child would just be sorting these numbers. Five, one, eight, four, and so on. Once the child has learned numbers zero through nine and is able to recognize numbers zero through nine, then you can move on to number quantity. And for this purpose, you can use some popsicle sticks or you can even use erasers. So, the same concept here. You would start off, this child will start off here with a zero. How many popsicle sticks do we put here? None. Here we put one, two, One, two, three, and so on. And you can do the same thing with the erasers there. One last activity that I have, I took some index cards and I cut them in half and I placed some, some stickers on it to represent the number quantity. As you can see, this is zero. So then the child sorts these cards into these um, slots. So this is four, four, zero. Oh, these are a lot of zeros here. Two, three, five and so on. And you can create a lot of these different cards to represent the quantities. And these are just stickers that you can get at the arts and crafts store. Okay. Well, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. And for more educational toys and activities, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.